Hi guys, just going to try and do a little public service video on supercapacitors using my solar charged car here. I'm not sure if the camera is going to focus, but this is a 2.7 volt, 5 farad supercapacitor. And that's all that's inside this car. There's a small DC motor which I guess is probably a one and a half volt motor, maybe a three volt one. Then we've got some wires that go to these two connectors on the back, which I can externally charge the capacitor from, and the other wires go through the roof onto the solar panel. And if I just run it down, that's been in the sun for a little bit. Yeah, that's been in the sun for a few minutes, so that's charged the capacitor a bit, so we'll let it run right down. There we go, so that's flattened the capacitor. So I'll switch it off again so that the charge from the solar panel just goes straight into the capacitor and doesn't get wasted on the motor. I'll leave it in the sun there. Tuck me a bit of wire back inside. I won't bother to put the screws back in so that we can just pull it apart again when it's charged. Right. We'll leave that in the sunshine, let it charge up, let my little solar rocker friend here watch it. My camera can do nine minutes of video at one time, so I'll leave that charging for, let's say, about another five minutes. And then we'll come back and see how far the car will run with that bit of charge. It won't run for long, only a matter of seconds but significantly longer than it would have done with just an ordinary electrolytic capacitor. just gone nine o'clock in the morning. In fact it's nearly half past nine now. I'm just going to eat my breakfast while that charges up. Looks like it's going to be another beautiful day today. The reason for doing this video is some people don't understand what a supercapacitor is. I think the best way I can describe it is it's a capacitor that works like a battery. So when you charge it, rather than discharging in one sudden burst, it gives up its charge over a length of time, a reasonable length of time. In my case it's going to drive an electric motor, so it's taking quite a high current drain to drive that motor. Whereas you see quite a few videos of people using them to drive LEDs. And obviously LEDs use very little power, so they can go on for hours and hours.
don't bother asking me to do any demonstrations of current draw or anything like with fancy meters. don't have any of that sort of thing. I can only demonstrate that the motor runs. breakfast. I'll just put my plate away. I reckon that's, that's probably about five minutes of charge. Hold it together. full length of my kitchen which is five meters. If I pick it up just pull it apart. There you go. So it's that super capacitor that's providing the power source. As I say two point what was it again? down 2.7 volts 5 farads so 5 minute charge in the sun and that's enough to run my car for 5 meters once it's fully charged if I leave it in bright sunlight it'll actually keep running <laughs> perfect timing got to go and answer the phone <laughs> 